one of the things we looked at in the societal attributes is, is the relationship the enterprise has with employees, right? It's not enough to be an afterthought. It's not enough for them just to be the first to know. There, there's got to be engagement from, from leadership within the enterprise uh, across that employee base, right? And, and we've talked about the dispersion of authority. Uh, a, a different way to think about that is the rise of authority in terms of the importance of the employee base. And, and what's fascinating is that this employee base is actually a tremendous asset, I would argue, under underutilized, under leveraged, as it relates to not only being a voice or, or, or one of many voices, if you will, in shaping the future direction of the company. Who knows better uh, the attributes and, and what's most leverageable within any enterprise than its employee base. But, but more than that, they're, they're a tremendous advocacy core. So if engaged in a sincere and authentic way, and again, we, we know from the data this year that treats employees well is phenomenal, is viewed as phenomenally important. Uh, too often, however, treats employees well is just dismissed as benefits, uh, you know, hours, work-life balance. Those are important things. Again, it's rules, right? What are, the, what are the standards with which I've got to engage my employees? That's table stakes. Again, the enterprise that's successful is going to understand the dimensions behind treats employees well and is going to really leverage that asset base for the betterment of the future of the enterprise.